Hey there YouTube, Bad Fat Panda here, and I have another comment share for you guys. For those of you listening with headphones, I'm sorry for the random drone in the background, but that is indeed my air conditioning. So, I have a game on Quarry. I think I have a vector with rapid fire, because uh, I saw that I unlocked Akimbo's at the end of the game. So, uh, always a good thing. Vector, very low recoil, very high rate of fire. Especially with rapid fire, as uh, it would turn out. So, I have a couple things. Uh, well, one thing I wanted to, to bring up uh, is that yesterday on stage, of course, the for those of you that uh, are into uh, computer games, the <laughs> I remember this game. This was a fun game. Uh, um, for those of you that are into computer games, you probably realize that uh, Steam is having a sale uh, right now over the next couple days through the month of July, and um, indeed, Left 4 Dead 2 is actually five net bucks. So it was four ninety nine. And um, I was coerced into buying it by a friend of mine, and so we will have some some Left 4 Dead 2 um, in the near future. I was wondering if you should like just were you inclined for me to post uh, Left 4 Dead 2 on this channel or on my other channel? And um, let me know in the comment section. But that actually brought up in my mind it was just like a whole sequence of events. So Left 4 Dead 2. I, very, uh, n not nearly as good as the first one, uh, as reviewed by most people. Um, but the, the thing is that you can't actually have a bad zombie game for four ninety nine. Boom headshot. Um, it, it just it just can't happen. You you look for something that's worthwhile for its cost, and you you see a zombie a zombie shooter that's four ninety nine, and um, it's just. No matter how bad the game is, you can't find enough things wrong with it to make it not worth four dollars and ninety nine cents. Um, I, I would put the value to any game, start like around around fifty dollars, and just it would go on from there. But I just uh, lol like Invo Magnums. Uh, I I just I, I can't zombie shooters. You don't have to have a good game. You don't have to have a good story. You just have to have guns and you have to have zombies like the people i'm sure dead rising 2 is well i'm sure dead rising itself is near like 10 bucks at this point dead rising 2 probably still at around 40 or 50 dollars i wouldn't buy it then because i heard that it wasn't very enjoyable for a long period of time but 4.99 <laughs> for left 4 dead 2 if dead rising 2 was 4.99 i would buy it too it's just zombie shooters are just one of those games that you just can't really do wrong. I mean, you can do wrong, but you can't do wrong after a couple months or a year has passed and the price has gone down ridiculously, as my air conditioner has turned off. So you're all thanking me. I'm using stopping power on this. Uh, rapid fire or stopping power on a vector is quite good. You run out of ammo a lot, but uh, it's it's doable. I don't use scavenger, it's not my thing. So I get commando sniped, like a boss. But um, this actually brought me into the next, uh, this this was this, the progression of, of my thought. Um, it, br it brought me into the worst game that you've ever bought. And it could be at release, it could be you picked it up, it could be your friend gave it to you. <laughs> Just the worst game you've ever ever bought or played um, for, for any sort of, for any system. Could be PC, could be PS1, doesn't matter. Um, I, I was thinking long and hard about this actually, <laughs> and that was kind of funny. Um, I was thinking thinking long and hard about this, and the first thing that came to mind, of course, because I give Justin shit all the time about it, is uh, Transformers, the uh, the game for next gen consoles on PC. I forgot what the sub uh, it was like. War oh, uh, Transformers War, War for Cybertron. There we go. And uh, I'm a big Transformers fan. I uh, I enjoyed the campaign, but the campaign was so short. And the multiplayer had no support, and was never patched, and it made for some uh, it made for some sad times playing that game. It had the potential to be really good. I, I just don't don't think it was supported right, and I don't think uh, it was sort of like COD Four in the sense that if it just like a random game that came out that nobody was expecting to do well, and it was great, except COD Four got support for it after it did well, and Transformers not so much. Or even Batman or Arkham Asylum for that matter. I remember uh, a friend of mine gave me that to play through. That was a really good game. If you're looking for like a random, um, if you're looking for a random adventure gameplay, 
uh, with superheroes, Batman, naturally. That is a pretty good game. And of course, this guy. <laughs> yeah, this game. All right, so he had a Kimbo Magnums in the last stand. And what do you do when you have a Kimbo Magnums in the last stand? You pull out a Kimbo Magnums when you die. It's not overpowered. It's, it's okay. The game's balanced. 100%. Um, but yeah, that's the large majority of my deaths were to this guy. Yeah, I mean, like, look at it. He just, he just runs for me every single fucking time. Unfortunately. But, um, on top of the Transformers game, I came through one other one that I... <laughs> Commando Sniper. Fuck, man. Oh, that was legit. Did you guys see that? That was MLG shit right there. Uh, <laughs> my god. The, if you ever go into a COD 4 lobby now, like, everybody uses a sniper. I'm not talking about... Oh, that's just a generalization. No, everybody uses a goddamn sniper. All the time. Like, 100% of the time. Headquarters doesn't matter. Hardcore headquarters, obviously. But, I mean, just domination, it doesn't fucking matter. I was getting a little bit upset there. I started out so well and then just got killed repeatedly by um, Z douches. But the the other game that I could, could come across as the worst game I ever bought was... <laughs> and this was... Um, I, I was... I must have been around 11 at the time. But it was the uh, Winter Olympics for Game Boy Advanced, and I couldn't, um, I can't think of the year. I guess it must have been 2000, and I, I must have been 10. I'm not sure, I'm not 100% certain, but uh, that game, I spent a lot of time on that game, and I, I think I like beat that, um, like convincingly, but now that I look back on it, it was actually a pretty pretty bad game. Uh, so that that's probably those are probably my top two like worst purchases I've ever made. Um, wow, did I just get a double kill feed with the Magnum? I, I wasn't even paying attention. I just saw the kill feed. Now I was looking at my air conditioning because it turned on again. No, but um, I think the other the other like noteworthy one is uh, Black Ops for PS3 because I have I really have no problem with it for the 360. I got my enjoyment out of it that I think it was worth, but for the PS3, they, they didn't patch shit in the game for over a month after release, and it was just completely unplayable, it, it just, and, and it made me never want to go back to it, so that's uh, that's an honorable mention, but yeah, that's pretty much it for me, I don't know, I, I w like, I'm, I'm still trying to think of, of games that I, I've bought and that I haven't really enjoyed, but that's, that's pretty much it for me, I, I'd be interested to see some of the comments though. So I will take a brief break for water. Am I gonna throw a knife him? Oh, I have a Semtex. Even better. <laughs> I'm a stealth clown. That's always a fun one, because everybody camps up here. Especially if you play, um, like, Ground War Domination. There's usually somebody out there with an RPG, too. Just for shits. I don't know. RPGs aren't... <laughs> that was one of the things that really bothered me. Um, there's no... There's... <laughs> lol. There's really no way you can make correlations to a video game in real life and have them be like 100% um, similar, but RPGs shoot so ridiculously straight in real life, and they're just like the most inaccurate things on uh, on any Call of Duty game. It makes me sad, but then again, it wouldn't be balanced if it was. So uh, with that, I will end this commentary. If you liked it, click the like button. And uh, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoy. It's supposed to uh, be hot for one more day, and we're actually supposed to have a nice weekend. So get outside, enjoy, and I'll talk to you probably tomorrow. Peace. <laughs>